What's good YouTube? In today's video we have a high kill gameplay with the DG58. This is one of my favorite LMGs to use. It kills fast, has no recoil, and you can use it at medium and close range. We'll go over the build right after the gameplay, but if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe, and comment down below. Now let's get to the gameplay. Bro, I was about to say there's no way I lose that. Got reinforcements inbound. Another one. No, I'm not gonna get any of those kills. I got one of them. Enemies dropping in the air. Oh boy. I did indeed. I'm on the middle of the street. Marking the rest of that squad on your attack map. Get hunting. All squad members are in the same zone. Oh, you all can get it. Nice. Oh, I'm not going to Left the game. Good work. There's somebody running a slide cast, I was about to say. What just happened right there? Fire sales over. Adjusting prices. Requesting recon flyover. Copy that. UAV is on station. Enemies are dropping into the area. Watch the skies.
and the rest of them. Resurgence has closed. No more second chances. Enemy soldier incoming. Oh, sniper. You got reinforcements inbound. The enemy scanning the stay undetected. Your squad mates redeploying. Well done. Enemy scans active. Stay low. Enemies detected. Locations marked. I'm worried about the sniper over here to my left. Oh my god no for the muzzle there's a couple good options in the gameplay i use the vt spare fire suppressor this helps out with the recoil control bullet velocity and damage range but there's also another muzzle you can use it's called the cassis break this helps out a lot with the recoil it's a new muzzle a lot of people are using so if you're worried about the recoil control try this out for the barrel the woody long barrel is the best option this helps out the aiming idle sway bullet velocity and range and recoil control for the optic, you can use whatever you prefer. I use the NIDAR model 2023 in the gameplay. I like this a lot because it's good at long range and you can also use it up close. I also think the SZ Recharge DX is a good option. It's very clean on this gun. Since this gun already comes with the 60 round mag, we have an extra attachment. So we want to throw on the recoil reduction butt plate. This is just a stock. This helps out the gun kick control and recoil control. For the underbarrel, there's a couple different options you can use. I like to use the Bruin Heavy Support Grip. This helps out with the gun kick control, aiming idle sway, and horizontal recoil control. It also doesn't take that much away from the movement. But if you're strictly worried about the recoil, I would recommend throwing on the BO52 Grip. This controls the recoil the best, but you move a little bit slower, but it's not that bad. Here is the complete build. This is one of the best long range weapons in the game. Check it out and let me know what you think in the comments.